brings the 11 week total since the pandemic began to more than 42 and a half million Americans out of having to pay that debt off. Flashes, protests, they've all intensified in Minneapolis where activists are demanding justice for George Floyd. He is the black man who died. There's a song my late grandfather loved, and it went a little something like this. I've had some good days, I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days and some sleepless nights. But when I look around and I think things over, all of my good days outweigh my bad days. I won't complain. As I got older, I couldn't understand how someone who witnessed so much hate, pain, and despair could say that all of their good days outweighed their bad days, and they couldn't complain. My grandfather's name is Pastor Ray L. Weaver Sr. He was a grandson of slaves and a man who lived through Jim Crow segregation. He was one of the first black owners of a home on 8th Avenue in Inglewood, California, where his welcome to the neighborhood present was a vandalized home with the words nigger get out written everywhere in red paint. Again, I asked myself, how could he not complain? How could he be so positive raising his children and grandchildren? How could he give us hope in a world that wronged him so many times and hated him simply because of the color of his skin? To be honest, it's something I struggle to comprehend daily. While the United States has made progress since my grandfather's generation fought for the rights that we have today, we still live in a country where unarmed black men and women can be beaten in or murdered by law enforcement without justice being served to the hateful monsters who claim to be police officers. I'd be lying if I said I believed all cops are bad because I really don't. One of my best friends is a cop and he's one of the best human beings I know. The problem is a system that doesn't properly punish those who don't value the lives they sworn to protect. This is why after 400 years, we as Americans still have to be told, reminded, and forced to acknowledge. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. So yeah, I don't know how my grandfather was able to live the life he did and give my family the life we have. Honestly, I don't know if I'll ever get all the answers I want. I just know Ray O. Weaver Sr. taught me the only thing I could 100% count on in this life is love. Not love in the generic sense, but the love for my family, friends, and community that has action behind it. Through all the bullshit that's going on, I want all my brothers and sisters to know I love y'all. So if that means staying on calls all through the night to keep people sane, signing petitions, giving my last dollar to a brother or sister in need, being there for and with my people by protesting when unarmed black men and women are killed, then that's what the fuck I'm gonna do. Because I am my brother's keeper. <laughs>